In this video, we're gonna watch a real-time sketching of this Porsche Cayman. I really enjoy the time-lapse videos as well, but also these real-time sketchings are quite important. When I was a student, I learned a lot from just watching a real-time sketching. And also today, when I see this type of videos, I enjoy it a lot. And I thought it would be nice to share with you. So let's start watching it. I was sketching this car and I thought like, yeah, let's record it. Why not to share it with my audience? Because real-time sketching is always important and it can even just, even if you don't learn something specific, like a specific rule or something, it can motivate you to just grab a pen and paper and start sketching. So I think it's quite important. And why it's a Porsche Cayman? Because I'm on holiday now. I'm in Turkey and far from my Cayman, which is back in Poland. So I thought like, okay, what to sketch? And I, I was kind of like, oh, it would be nice to drive now. So instead let's sketch a Cayman. So it's how it happened. And then I came up with the idea for this video because as I just mentioned, this sketch is kind of emotional to me. So I'm like, it's not like emotional sketch type of thing, but I have some type of personal attachment to it because of I own a Cayman and I love Porsche in general. So I I have this connection and it's related to your portfolio because the best type of projects you can do are the, the projects that you really feel, I think, the personal attachment because I will also talk about my portfolio in a bit, but let's say you like, uh, I don't know, BMW as a brand uh, or you own a BMW or you want to own or like whatever reason, you have an attachment to this brand or you watched an advertisement about BMW M3 and you you got inspired, right? Not like a momentary thing, but in general, if it gives you the feeling of, oh, I want to work there one day, I think it's the best type of project. You should do it. Like portfolio is a bit complicated topic that we can dive into it deeper, maybe in this video because we have enough time <laughs> while watching this real time sketching. But my point is when you do something you really love, when you do a project related to a brand that you are passionate about, or maybe not only brand, maybe have a segment of the car. Maybe you love to idea of off-road and you make an off-road project. And I'm pretty sure this project would look a bit better than your other projects. If possible, do all your projects related to your passion. Okay, I don't want to go. No, I want to go. Let, let's go in deep into portfolio topic. Like the strategy is don't do only sports cars on your portfolio or don't you do only SUVs because the portfolio is kind of like the collection of projects to show your abilities and also to show how your brain work from start to end of the project. Like how you sketch, how you come up with an idea and then how you develop it and finalize as a 3D model and what happens in between. This is very important to understand for like applying for a job or even applying for internship or maybe applying for design schools. It's important to show how you work, like how your mind work during a design project. So that's one thing, like you need to have varieties on your portfolio, but it's also important to not do it like a robotic systematic way. Like, okay, I need to have one SUV, one sports car, one this and one that, one futuristic, one classic. It's better to have these varieties, but try to add each and every project, something personal from yourself. Like if it's an off-road vehicle and if you love the brand, I don't know, again, let's go with BMW, then make a BMW off-road project maybe, if it match. And this way you will have the passion, you will have the interest and trust me, this personal attachment to the brand, to a car, affects a lot in a positive way. And it also shows your personal taste. It's very important in a portfolio. It's not like you have a client brief and you need to make the client happy. On your portfolio, especially for design students, it's quite important to show your personality. That's what I did uh, during my portfolio. Like I was studying at SPD in Italy, in car design masters, and it was time to do my portfolio. And many students had on their portfolio what they do during the school. Like we had an Audi project and Lamborghini project in collaboration with these companies, but they both were group projects. So we were like four or five people on a project. So it was not super clear who does what. So there are some portfolios having the same renders, same sketches, same projects in the portfolio. So imagine somebody receives portfolios from 20 people and they all have like Audi, Lamborghini, Audi, Lamborghini. You know, it's, it would be very 
generic in this uh, context. So what I was doing is like, it's it's tough. Like when you study, of course, you feel like you don't have enough time for everything, but actually somehow finding time, that's what I did, and doing personal projects. Maybe during the Easter holiday, maybe in Christmas holiday, maybe in any type of holiday, on weekends or after work time, after studying time. Whenever it is, find some time to do, even if it's a sketch project, do something related to it. Like I already did a video about my portfolio that got me the job. So I can put the link somewhere here and you can watch, or maybe you can, uh, I can put it on the description. But the point is like, I even had a sketch projects because on that time I was interested in Volvo a lot. Like the, they, they changed the design language to the current language, like more minimal, like from the traditional Volvo to current Volvo, let's say. And I was like, wow, that's Scandinavian design. It's amazing. So I had a project about Volvo. Then I was also super interested in Mini. I love that compact feeling, like this go-kart driving feeling, very compact car, urban style, a bit more funky and uh, let's say a vivid project, more colorful. And this, like I was interested in both. So in my portfolio, there was variety, like a minimal Scandinavian design uh, station wagon I had for Volvo. And for Mini, I had like a Mini Cooper type of uh, project, sketch project, but doesn't matter. It was showing my taste, my personal touch in this portfolio where most of the other students had only the Audi and the Lamborghini projects. So I will say like, while sketching this, uh, car I was thinking about these in mind as well like uh, about this video and I think it's a very important message for you to s to know that uh, you need to do something you like in your portfolio it's interesting like I had a conversation with a, a private student of mine like I do one-to-one -one live uh, coaching sessions for for design students or if you are a professional, it's also possible, like if you feel lost or if you need something, you can check on my website, uh, this possibility. Depends on when you are watching this video, there might be availability or not. But anyway, I was talking with my student and he was showing me his portfolio and he mentioned that it was it's a good idea to not only do the things you like, but also do something you don't really like. So this way you show the flexibility of if there's a brief, that you need to do a project that you are not passionate about, you're also able to do that. I like the idea, it makes sense, and it might be like a, like um, not the key point of your portfolio, but like an additional project by showing a different persona. Like let's say we see your style already, we see your interests in your portfolio, and at the end of it, as an additional project, it might be a strategy. It wouldn't be the first thing that I would focus on the portfolio because first thing should be your personality anyway. So, yeah, like we still have on the sketch, I don't know, six more minutes. So I can also talk about the sketch a little bit. And if you will have any questions, like I, I didn't uh, plan this video very detailed, honestly. So I don't have like do this and this for your portfolio. It's not like a portfolio video. I have another idea actually about portfolio that I will do another video uh, very recently because I'm thinking about the AI in a portfolio. Very tricky topic. That's why I will make another video about it. So if you will have any questions, if you if like anything comes to your mind now, you can write down on the comments as a question so I can try to cover them for my next video. And for the sketch, I don't know if you watched. Uh, of course, you watched if you are hearing this. If you realize at the beginning there was like a perspective problem or the proportions problem, so I always flip the sketch. Like I mirror it on Photoshop or if it's on the paper, you can just put it on a light and you can see from the other side. It gives you the fresh eye to see the mistakes on your own sketch. So that's what I did also. And as you see, the sketch is not perfect. It's not like everything is like going like from photo or anything. Some things are something that some elements are exaggerated. And there are some mistakes happening. So I think it's also important to share this kind of sketches because on social media today you see everything perfect, but in reality it is not, at least for me. And <laughs> that was the case. And many professional car designers I know, that's also the case. And on this sketch, like I wanted to, yeah, it's rotated. <laughs> Rotating on Photoshop and on paper is also a good tip. Let's jump into a little bit of sketch tips uh, because 
for example, I'm left-handed, and for me, from from body center to outside, like from shoulder, this is the sketching line, the comfortable sketching line. And if I need to draw something from different angle, sometimes it's just better to rotate the paper to keep this mu muscle memory because muscle memory is very important. And like for me, a straight line is this. I don't do straight line like this. Like I would if it's like a quick sketch or something, but if I really want to focus, that's the muscle memory that I would use. That's why you see the sketches rotating around. And um, maybe when we zoom out a little bit, I can tell you more about it, but the, some parts of the sketch are darker, like the headlight frame is darker than the little shading lines on the front nose of the car. It shows where I want you to see, like when I, like it's the place that I want to emphasize on the sketch. The surface treatment there is not as same importance as this detail or the front bumper like air intake areas is like the ideation uh, sketch the ideation part for me and the sketch is already like the main proportions the per perspective is done so i'm having fun with the detail here i'm just doing some uh, is it called hatching i think hatching is like no it's called hatching uh, i use the same direction for the hatching like in the inside of the headlight i put this uh, vertical lines and I'm gonna put the same on the front bumper on the air intakes now I guess let me see yes so this also gives more coherent look to your sketch if you want to do this hatching part and uh, if you are new to the channel by the way I'm a car designer uh, I used to work at Volkswagen Group at Ital Design then I worked at Design Stores I did an internship at Ford so I have some experience and since five years or so I'm a freelance designer working on different projects, different, uh, sometimes products, sometimes cars, sometimes motorcycles, boats. So because I have a background of industrial design as well, but I think if you are able to design a car, like if you are, if you know the tools, the skills, you can more or less design many other um, products as well. Um, and I have my online courses, like it's something that I uh, do as well. Because the sketch reminded me, because I was talking about some tips and tricks on the sketch, but if you want to go deeper on this, if you want to learn from like zero level as a beginner how to sketch cars, you can check it out on my website, bergkaplan.com. Because this perspective, for example, is a little bit tricky compared to the beginner perspectives that I would use. And the proportions as well. But yeah. Let me see. It's like... Yeah, a couple minutes left for the sketch. Honestly, I was like, okay, the, the message is simple. The message is put on your portfolio something you like. Like make the projects that excites you. This is very important. And I thought, okay, this two sentence video, so I don't have a lot to talk. But then I was like, I want to show the real time sketching as well. So I would just also put a music uh, background. I do sometimes this type of videos, but seems like I managed to <laughs> mumble around, talk, talk about uh, the portfolio for more or less 14 minutes that's cool yeah i'm doing the same hatching inside of the wheel here if you zoom out i will see it in a like i can give you a more general idea like if you see that the front wheels are thicker and a bit more detailed compared to the rear ones but the wheels in general are very rough because that's not the focus of my sketch the focus on this angle is this the front perspective the idea is the front face of the car, like the front end of the car. I do very well. And even if this hatching now, what I'm doing is lighter than the one I did inside of the air intake, for example. What do you think about this sketch? I think it's it's quite nice. And uh, yeah, I bought a Cayman like four months ago. Oh, the sketch is finished. And uh, as I said, now I'm away from it and I love driving this thing. So it was really nice to sketch it if i cannot drive it it's not the same camera by the way i'm not a big fan of drawing directly the existing cars like you can use them as a reference and so on but it becomes an art when you just draw the existing car and i'm not like totally against it but if you want to make a project you can always tweak some things i find it more fun to like i do ideation uh, while even sketching an existing car like it's a Cayman but it's like an alternative version of it it's like a little bit of 
more designed from my point of view, like how I felt while sketching. It's not like deeply taught sketch, but I was just uh, searching for different alternatives. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more like this format that I'm just mumbling around different topics while showing you the real-time sketching, let me know also in the comments. And as I said, if you have any questions about portfolio, I can answer that in a different video. I can make maybe more portfolio-focused video as well. I have a couple of them. As I said, this video here is the portfolio that got me a job. So I think it might be very nice to watch next. See you.